Are you a software engineer looking to leverage your skills into profitable side hustles? The possibilities for making money online are endless and in this video I will share 7 side hustle ideas for developers that I believe will be highly profitable in 2024. Let's start with AI-powered custom solutions. AI is no longer just a buzzword. In 2023, the AI market cap was valued more than 200 billion and it's expected to grow exponentially. A new AI tool is coming out every week and you can explore all tools at topai.com to get some inspiration. There are tools for completing development tasks, doing researches, generating images and videos for copywriting and so on. As a developer, you can tap into this by offering AI-powered custom solutions to businesses. For example, you can build a tool like Agent GBT or GodMod by utilizing large language models such as GBT4, Llama or Palm that can understand and generate human-like text. You can create a token in GBT for example and add it to your application. Then implement a system that can break down user-defined goals into actionable tasks because most people are not that good with prompting AIs, but you can break down their large inputs into small tasks with laddering technique and then return a more useful response. You will also need to create a chaining mechanism where tasks are executed in sequence to achieve the set goal. You can stop here and then people can interact with it from the terminal. But to take this a step further, design a user-friendly interface that allows users to interact with the AI agent and enable users to define goals, monitor progress and receive outputs. If your tool is useful enough, you can monetize it through subscription models. Most people will be happy to pay for saving time from prompting themselves or to learn prompt engineering to do it properly. This is just one example of a tool you can make, but the options are endless and also check out the existing tools before starting to create one. Next side hustle idea is to sell digital products and plugin development. The digital transformation market is also growing, which includes digital products and services, and is projected to grow from 2 to 9 trillion by 2030. You can create digital assets like plugins for Shopify or WordPress and also monetize them by subscription models. In 2023, WordPress is still used by 45% of all websites on the internet. And of the 9 million e-commerce websites in the US, 28% of them use Shopify. You can also create reusable website templates with your favorite tech stack and sell them on platforms like Team Forest or Template Monster. Here you will typically sell it with a one-time license, but you can have many service add-ons which can increase the price of your product. I will link my detailed guide on how to upload and sell web templates on Team Forest in case you're interested in that. Next one is mobile app development on App Store or Play Store. As of 2023, the Google Play Store hosts more than 3.7 million apps and App Store has 1.8 million iPhone apps available in the same year. You can develop an application easily without knowing any native language by using cross-platform tools and frameworks such as React Native, Flutter or even Ionic and you don't have to learn anything new except using React or Angular to create an application or game. It works by wrapping the app in a native container, allowing it to access the device's features while being developed with your familiar web technologies. You can earn money from this by monetizing through ads displayed within the app with in-app purchases by offering additional content or features within the app or changing users to download the app's premium version without ads and with additional features. Next idea is to create a SaaS or micro SaaS products. The opportunity here lies in creating specialized and niche products that solve specific problems for businesses or individuals. And micro SaaS products are often built by a solo developer or a small team of developers. These products don't require a large investment but focus on a very narrow market or functionality. Raycast is an example of such a tool. It's a productivity tool that streamlines daily tasks and workflows through quick access and custom scripts primarily targeting developers and power users. And currently it's a very successful project with a subscription-based model. Next idea is to contribute to open source projects. By contributing to projects related to your field, you demonstrate your skills and also collaborate with others. And this can lead to job offers, consulting opportunities, or the chance to sell your own tools and services to the community that grows around the project. 
And furthermore, if you initiate an open source project that gains traction, you can monetize it through sponsorships or donations or dual licensing, where you offer both a free community version and a paid commercial version with an additional features or support. Next idea is to provide ethical hacking services. As businesses rely on digital infrastructure more and more, the demand for cybersecurity expertise is growing. And ethical hackers or penetration testers are professionals who use their skills to identify and fix vulnerabilities in systems before malicious hackers can exploit them. This can involve anything from web application testing to network security assessments. As an ethical hacker, you might work as a freelancer, start your own consulting firm or join a corporate team. And the field requires staying constantly updated on the latest threats and technologies, but it can be highly rewarding both intellectually and financially. And the last one is tech blogging, which is a powerful platform to share your expertise, review new technologies or provide tutorials and tips. You can start it as a hobby, but it has the potential to get monetized through advertising, affiliate marketing, sponsored content or selling digital products like ebooks or courses. Usually successful tech bloggers establish a niche, whether it's covering the latest trends in web developments, AI trends or gadget reviews, and they grow their audience by constantly providing value and engaging content. My recommendation is just to pick one and focus on that before diversifying. And if you choose to start one of the digital products, start with the MVP first and see if people are interested in that before starting to add new functionalities to it.